Namah Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Gitinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sanjavani Paschajade Satarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gita Camp, <coughs> according to my memory, has been going on for many, many years. It's a nice way for our younger generation devotees to spend time together and spend time together with Krishna in the form of Bhagavad Gita because Bhagavad Gita's message is meant to stay with you for your life. And to assimilate as best you can Bhagavad Gita's message when you're young, you're all very fortunate, far more fortunate than I was. And maybe more fortunate than the next generation, next generation. They'll become more fortunate than you all. But fortune is yours. The topic is the divine and demoniac nature, one of the 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita. And the topic came up in yesterday evening's home program, so I want to speak on the, the feature that came up yesterday evening, that is, on the one hand and on the other hand. On the one hand, there are, there are differences. Divine and demoniac are definitely differences. There's many other categories of differences. And on the other hand, Pandita Samadarshana, the teaching of Bhagavad Gita is a pundit, a learned person, and that you're being trained to become pundits, see all living entities equally. Sama Darshana. So how to approach this topic of divine and demoniac nature or any of the other discerning topics of Bhagavad Gita, for example, the modes of nature, or different systems of yoga, and some person's inclined to this or that or the other system of yoga, and therefore they get a label, karma yogi, Hatha Yogi, Dhyan Yogi, so forth. There are distinctions, and at the same time there's a sameness. So how can you all approach the mind and demoniac nature, and at the same time have equal vision? Good question. On the spiritual platform, there's also differences. The differences on the spiritual platform are not divine and demoniac nature, because the nature of the soul on the, on the spiritual platform has no demoniac qualities. It's Satchitananda Vigraha. And all souls have that fundamental identity, Satchitananda Vigraha in a small degree compared to the Supreme who has an unlimited degree. That's the sum up, the equalness. And then there's coverings that have different nature of coverings. Even in the spiritual realm, there's diversity of ways and desires and inspirations, inclinations to serve Krishna. That's fine. Divine and demoniac is altogether a different description than differences 
of souls, one soul to another soul, this soul in relation to Krishna, that soul in relation to Krishna, and so forth. Divine and Divine Act have to do with the covering, the modes of nature, the body, activities, karma, diversity. So on the one hand and on the other hand, the fundamental teaching of Bhagavad Gita is to see all living entities in their spiritual position as living entities, parts and parcels of the Supreme Person, Satchitananda Vigraha, or fundamentally Sat, eternality, fundamentally full of knowledge, fundamentally full of bliss, but covered condition makes for different natures that are on the material side. So divine and demoniac nature has to do with the material side and how to work your way through this Gita camp where you're discerning, you can distinguish this from that better at the end of camp than at the beginning of camp. Probably some questions will arise, hopefully questions will arise to clarify. And you'll have a clearer picture of, on the material side, differences between this nature and that nature. At the same time, how to engage with that new understanding or increased understanding and help, how can that help you move towards the samadarshana picture. All living entities are fundamentally part of Krishna and thus to be retreated with respect, while the behavior or the covering feature may not be so great. How to hold respect and likely you are going to get a fair dose of this from one of your counselors, Sri Radhika, of how to have respectful communications regardless of the mode of nature that someone is influenced by or the empathic communication message. It has everything to do with seeing on the spiritual platform. At least conceptually, there should be a conceptual understanding of living entities being spirit soul and not the coverings of those spirit souls. While the chapter is focusing on divine and demoniac nature, that's the covering. But that's not the living entity fundamentally. How to sum up the little message I wanted to present? You're, there, there are apparent contradictions in this approach, and the waters are a little treacherous or maybe difficult to navigate. So you have to be very attentive and thoughtful towards not just have more information on divine and demoniac nature, but how that can help you not see the person as divine or demoniac, but the behavior and speech may be divine or demoniac, and gravitate towards the divine nature. And that will help you enter the transcendental nature realm. And that's Bhagavad Gita. To, to make a nice connection with Krishna and serve him in devotion accordingly, according to this proper spiritual understanding of yourself and others and the source of everyone, Krishna. That's not something conclusive, it's a direction to follow. And I hope you can understand the message I'm trying to convey, a little meandering, but the goal is to become Krishna conscious. The goal is to not to be discriminating for or against, but to be Krishna conscious. And how is this going to help you become Krishna conscious? That might be a nice topic for you to spend time on in one of your discussion groups. Have a nice time and get to camp. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Bhagavad Gita ki jai,
ಪ್ರೇಮದ ನಂದಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೂ